All right, so I'm playing uh, Siren Blood Curse. Um, it's on PS3. It's the third game in the series um, after Siren and Siren 2. Um, but I actually got Forbidden Siren 1 and 2, which are the PAL versions from UK. Um, let me check out the options real quick. So difficulty normal. Captions on. Midnight mode off. All right, so I I don't really know what this game's about. Let me pick up a piece of paper so I can. I'm gonna play a normal mode. I feel like it's a setting that they rec they started with. So it says, in a remote Japanese mountain village, a strange ritual ends in bloodshed. A ghostly siren wails, and for an American film crew trapped on the mountains, a nightmare is unleashed. Steal yourself for a terrifying ordeal as you fight to stay alive against the savage she fight. That sounds interesting. Okay, so episode one. Chapter one. I've never played this game. Um, I'm hoping it's good. It sounds like you get like you're like filming, and then all of a sudden you get like trapped in the mountains of Japan. Decades later, an American film crew got lost and bears witness to horrific rituals no outsiders can ever imagine. It felt like everything shook for a second. What are they doing? I thought this was an abandoned village. Who are those people? So, I, uh, I shaved my face for this. No, stop. Okay, so right now it looks like they're kind of doing like the cultist thing in Dead Rising 1. Damn, that's some fucked up they shit. They straight up killed her. No. Fuck. Oh no. Oh my god. They didn't actually kill her, did they? Why would they do this? Shh, quiet. They'll hear you. No! They're gonna kill her too! Shit! We gotta do something. Oh my god! She's getting away! Hey, look! Someone's trying to stop him! I like how blurry cameras even though they don't like do anything properly it's actually very well done isn't that crazy god i can't watch this anymore hey is she the actress that you guys hired <laughs> Just murdered her like that! Goddamn psychos! Fuck! Fuck! I shaved the shit out of my face for this. Howard Wright, a high school student visiting the site on the same day as the TV crew, finds himself haplessly entangled in the terrifying ordeal unfounding and unfolding in the Help! village. A woman got stabbed! Tasukete! Hitoka Shinda! My chair is currently like stuck on a cable. And like, give me a wedgie. Oh, there we go. Hello, hello. Damn it! Where are the cops? And like, need them? the chair leg, it actually goes exactly where my foot is supposed to go. The second, the sacred revelations archive added to the archive. Video camera added to the archive. Howard Wright's student ID added to the archive. So Howard Wright, August second, Lower Arato. All right, mission objective, escape from the police officer. So today I, I walked around like all day and tanned. It's pretty nice. Like, it's kind of weird because like I found like a nice park and initially like the focus of my focus was the park. Um, but later on, like going back to it, I was like, wait, there are apartments here, like loads of apartments here. So I was like, I should show people all the apartments. All right, so directional button, display subcommand, subcommand up, flashlight on off. Okay. 
Yeah, so I walk around with the analog stick and I press up to turn off my flashlight. It's pretty foggy. It's already like really exciting though, I guess. Looks like a system just like drove up to me. Oh, it's a zombie. Hey, wait, what are you? What are you? Ah, shit! That's some crazy shit. Like, no I see this person, and I'm just like, they're gonna quit, aren't they? They're gonna fucking quit. And there's no way you'll ever be able to know what they do. Alright, one second. Let me up the brightness a bit. Hopefully I don't die. Oh shit. There we go. I'm gonna hide under the cabin. Oh, there's the zombies approaching the house. It's pretty crazy. Like the zombies asking, he's like, are you there? Sneak into the house through the window. Cause it's like, is the zombie really there or not? I really, I really don't know. I've seen some fucking crazy shit. The door is locked from the other side. I think the zombie's saying I need like a therapist or something after deleting the gym. All right, so I'm gonna climb into the window. I got a checkpoint, which is pretty cool. You know what? I'm gonna change. Uh, I'm gonna change the brightness and contrast back to like normal levels, because I feel like it should be generally good. <laughs> I love yeah wow it looks way better so I love how everyone at work they were just like oh my god oh she's still moving everyone at work they're like they're like like ha 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 like like oh wait like one second like ha 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 and it's like oh wow like how, how do you how do you make it sound like it's it's pointless like oh yeah like I'm just gonna like knock this off my desk <laughs> I can't leave. I'm stuck in the locker. Oh, there's a zombie. Find a place to hide inside the house. It was crazy today after work, like I went outside and like I was eating and shit and like I hadn't eaten all day. So like after being up in the sky all day, like I went outside and I was like <laughs> Uh, 
Look at this guy. He looks like a walking Super Smash Brothers sign. My streams are pretty good for, like, um, I don't know. Oh yeah, my streams are really good against like the fat bears at work. All right, so I'm gonna take the sake bottle. Press R1 or square to attack. I don't know what's happening. this dude with the sake bottle. Damn, dude. Checkpoint. So, it says to find a place inside the house to hide. I guess I could do this again. I don't know if I'm supposed to like try to defeat him or not. And then I just have to quietly sneak past him. I need to like up my jogging game. I was interesting though. Like I told everyone about like Friday by night crawlers and uh, about like MK dub push the feeling or whatever it was called. And like I don't, I don't know, I made like, it was like a sarcastic joke about like, something that was important that wasn't important. Like I checked my forum, I told them about like clerks and stuff. Oh, yeah, I was, I was telling them about like, Silent Hill, and like, the one like, uh, the one like, colored lady, she's like, the next time you send me a JPEG, you're gonna fucking scan it. And I don't know. I don't know how that has anything to do with Silent Hill, but but I was just sitting there matching stuff off, and I was like, I was like yellow first, top row, on the left hand side, because <laughs> like XL, like you don't if you don't appreciate like Silent Hill, like while you're working on like ridiculous XL stuff. It actually kind of resembles Silent Hill a little bit. And it makes it fun. Because it's like you're sitting there working on like a mindless task and then you're like, wait, this is Pyramid Head. So, all right, I'm gonna switch to the shovel. Oh my God. Hit this guy with a shovel. Hell yeah, dude. That was pretty legit. This is a good opening to the game, honestly. It's much more interesting than like Until Dawn. Like, should I be hating on Until Holy Dawn? Because they were like cringe. I didn't give it a chance though, but they were like, oh, like demons. 
Like there was like a demon symbol and stuff, and like I really didn't like it. Like that pen straight up. I feel like the zombie does have a point though. I wonder if it's bad for your face to shave it like that hard. All right, mission accomplished. It was interesting, like explaining Silent Hill 2 to them, though. I was like, first you run around town, then you go to the apartments, then you go to the hospital, then you run around town, then you jump in your own grave. And Pyramid Head's like, how the fuck did you get in here? And like, he just walking around with a harpoon, and you like take his sword. Cut it out! Hey, hey, hey! These are the only What's glasses wrong with you that I've got! What you saw? Goddamn murder and you're bickering over stupid shit! <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. That's a really nice nurse. Isn't that crazy? Like, I don't know what happened to, like, American horror, right? They just, like... Cut us off and then like, it's like, do they even do horror? Besides, like, Yermo? Wow, this is really well made. So I saw on Netflix, there's a new show called All of Us Are Dead. Alright, so now I'm on episode two. I finished the first mission. Were there more chapters? Okay, so the chapters are really fast, and then you get like trailers. That's pretty cool. nice hope I could get some sun in like I worked pretty hard this week um like I started the week and I was like like they needed like everything due Friday on Tuesday and then it ended up not even being due until Friday idiots are gonna come up with Bella Melissa I don't know how like close face shaving works with like tanning Alright, so there's a character called Sam Monroe in Mount Gojaku, Hanuda Mine. So it says, uh, search for the others. This really isn't funny. Select for the map. Okay, that's a nice map. I got a flashlight. All right, stir from unconsciousness on Mount Gojaku. Oh, there's that nurse lady again. 
It looks like two nurses are fighting. Oh, no, no. That's what it would be like if I didn't know how to program right now. It was funny, uh, today, uh, the people at the door, like, I walk by them, and they're like, they're like, yeah, like, when I start here, like, I got paid, like, and then they named a certain amount of money, and, uh, like, I walk by them, and they're like, yeah, and now I just, like, watch the bags go out the door, and, like, I was just, like, walking by, like, looking way better than them. Alright, so vibration function only available with DualShock 3 wireless controller, which was working for me. Proceed with caution to avoid being spotted. What's wrong with this place? What's wrong with this place? Staying quiet. You can soften the sounds of your footsteps by crouching down. Make it easier to pass by Shibito, undetected. Stick to the shadows and find a safe route around the Shibito. Yo. And pick up this metal pipe. Damn, dude. I don't know if, like, a strategy is, like, necessary. It seems like not really. Um, like it's relatively easy. You just have to like really die once, and then you're fine. Uh, this it looks like this like railroad just gives up, just dies here. So what did I have for dinner today? Oh, I had filet mignon. It was really nice. I like filet mignon. You can skip cup scenes. Skit cutscenes. Oh my god. I'm like stuck in between like not speaking loudly and speaking loudly. I don't know why like I don't like to speak loudly. Alright, pick up the metal pipe. Oh, you have to just shake the controller instead of uh, like moving it up and down. I don't know how to sneak past them. It's not like really obvious, but maybe there's a, like a, a glory kill set up or something. Alright, some weapons cannot be used by certain characters. They will not be able to pick them up. Fighting a Shibito unarmed is a good way to get yourself killed. If you run into one, quickly find a weapon to defend yourself. Hell yeah, dude. That was pretty cool. I just got the mining pick. You can attack by pressing square or R1. Hold square or R1 to initiate more powerful attack. If you manage to surprise attack a Shibito, you could deal a lot more damage. Crouch to sneak up on a Shibito and then attack to knock her out. All right, watch this shit. Nice, dude. Okay. I like how they start the game off very easy. Um, so I don't have to like stress out about like getting pwned while also like destroying people.
So today at work, they were talking about like ninja points or whatever. Like they were like, yeah, like, I don't know, ninja points, I don't know. All right, so I'm running the wrong way now. Like, I feel like I, I just walk around and like, I don't know, I'm just like tanning in New York. Just like, it's so nice. Like just the entire area. Like the person I was, I was talking with today on teams, she was basically like, uh, she was like, she's like, oh, like, how do you get there? And I was like, oh, like I just, I just do the normal way. And like, like I drive to work and then, and then she was like, she's like, oh, I can never do that. Too expensive. And I was like, I was like, yeah, just like super loudly on my teams. So I'm like, oh, like, what, what does that mean? Like, if the return to office is happening, I'm going to have to play, like, 92 million pickup. All right, let's see what my missions are. All right, so I need to break into the mining office or break the lock on the mining office door. Okay, that's, that's pretty obvious. Okay. I need to break a lock. Oh. How do you break the lock though? Where is it at? I feel like I'm listening to like Bruce Falconer, like either Cell Returns or Boo is Fighting. You can break rusty locks by striking them a few times with a weapon. Okay, mission accomplished. So I just walked into like the mining office and some dude hit me in the face. Nice. Now I don't have to do shit. I just have to watch a cutscene. It's a really nice waterfall. What happened? Was I just imagining things? Wow. So, I guess th what they're deciding to take the horror series like and make it not difficult. Damn. Now what? Uh, are you all right? You. You're one of them. Wait. It's nice having a game that's like that relatively terrible. straightforward. Can you walk? It's dangerous by yourself. Let me take I'm you fine. somewhere safe. All right, so now I'm playing as Howard Wright again. The last time he got shot in the chest and fell off a bridge from the cop. So I need to escape to Karuwari with Amana. been given a very special gift. All right, sight jacking is a special power allowing you to see through the eyes of Shibito and other people. It's also an important way to discover hints on how to proceed through the game. Follow the instructions given in the lower right lock onto to lock onto Amana's view. All right, so I'm going to sight jack Amana. R1 auto searches. Okay, so I'm reading her mind, and it looks like there's an old lady over there. Um, there's someone near a swamp with water and cars underwater. That's very creepy to think about. Um, there's a dude swinging a sword. 
Um, I guess mining rock in RuneScape. There's this dude. Okay. And a belligerent old guy. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. I mean, she has like a lot of stuff going on, right? Oh, so red or shibito and green are people. Nice. I already seek your consciousness. Oh, maybe lock. Release your current sight, Jack Lock, with L2, and try sighting and locking onto Amana's view. You can move while sightjacking someone's view. To leave sightjacking mode at any time, press L2. There are many useful sightjacking features. For more detailed information, press select and choose help in the main menu. This gift shall keep you safe. Now follow me. Okay. It's kind of cool. I think the stream picture for the first stream is definitely going to be like the nurse lady. <laughs> Taking the controller more so than moving up and down definitely is how it works. I thought he said that, but I don't know. I don't want to shake the controller too much because, like, I walked around for, like, literally two and a half hours outside today. And I didn't need to poop all day at work. Again. So two days in a row I walked around outside for three hours and I didn't have to poop at work. I think... I guess hot weather just makes it so you don't have to poop very at all. Gift. It like literally removes all poop from you, which I, I never knew. I stand here. The gift shall keep you safe. Now follow me. All right, so I'm gonna try to sneak attack this guy. Kind of fun. Oh. I don't know. I'm just gonna give up, honestly. Um, that was like my intro to this game. I, I literally can't shake my screen. And, like, I'm sore from working out and shit, too. So, I'm just gonna like go enjoy some more energy drink and then play like some other game. That was a fun intro, though. <laughs>